All right, guys, so this is take three at this intro. I uh, tried to film it a few minutes ago. There was something on the lens and I caught it halfway through. I removed it, put it on, and then uh, the next intro, I had music on, so of course, copyright. But um, as you can see, I'm not in my truck. I'm not even in a truck for that matter. I am in a little Honda Civic Si. I know, right? Weird. So basically what ended up happening is I had so many issues with the truck. I reached out to the car lot where I initially bought it and basically said I would like to return the truck because you have so many days here. And uh, I would cut my loss on all the repairs that I did. You know, fuel pump, alternator, battery, <clears throat> winch, and uh, the front sway bar disconnect and the front locker. I was willing to, to take a loss on that because I kind of seen things were getting progressively worse with the truck as I got into it deeper and uh, ultimately what we ended up discovering was the frame needed some repairs it was uh, in pretty bad disrepair so I reached out to the car lot and let them know about that and they gave me this little car as uh, kind of like I'm sorry, basically. Um, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. I mean, I, I get what they were doing, the gesture that they were doing. But um, now I'm dealing with uh, my tires. A brand new Goodyear tires. Good, Goodyear Wrangler Duratrax are completely out of round. So now I'm dealing with Goodyear trying to get these tires um, warrantied or whatever it's going to happen with them. But back to the car. So they give me this little Honda. And uh, cool little car, you know, 200K, 206,000 kilometers. Pretty low K for a Honda, five-speed manual. No accidents, nothing. Really good shape. Really clean car, as you can probably tell. And uh, I, w I didn't particularly want a car. I wanted some money back. But what his theory was, well, I'll give you a car. I can give you this car that would sell for this much money. And I can put it down at this much money. And then you can resell it and recoup some of that money. And I was like, yeah, okay, I guess like, I can make that work. Well, I get it home and I was like, you know, I always do an oil change every vehicle I get. And um, as soon as I open the hood, there's little sticky notes under the hood from the repair facility where this car was sitting. Um, so the car lot that gave it to me claimed they knew no history about the car. Well... The repair facility that does all the repairs for this particular car, caught, car lot said otherwise. Um, so this car apparently sat on the lot in the back of the repair facility lot for one year because it has an airbag issue. And the car lot did not want to spend the money to repair the airbags. And of course, I didn't know this. When I got the car, everything was fine. I drove it a few hundred, a few kilometers. I, I would say probably... Um, maybe 40 kilometers and that's generally not enough for, uh, to trigger a, a light after they've cleared it or disconnected the battery or whatever. And then uh, on the way back, it flicked on and, uh, I reached out to him and he claimed he didn't know anything about it, but clearly, as I just said, he did know about it because the refer repair facility let me know. So yeah, that's kind of the gist on what happened here, but here, let me, I'll, I'll show you the car here. I just uh, brought it out for a little drive. I wanted to uh, check out the road here. This is one of the areas where we constantly come wheeling. It's a nice, I don't want to call it paved, but it's practically a paved road. It's a gravel road, but we're uh, hoping to have the truck back on the road for Friday. If you've seen my little short video uh, the other day about uh, Dodge life, you kind of know where I'm talking about. So we're getting that dealt with, but uh, let me show you this car here. Let me. Get so, I mean, it's a good looking little car, you know, like it's a Honda. It's not what I wanted, but kind of gets me around for the time being while I'm dealing with this hunk of truck. So a uh, bit of uh, unfortunate circumstances, but what can you do? We're making the best out of the situation. So yeah, we're going to be back in full action, full swing of things. Hopefully by Saturday, we've got some wicked nice weather coming in. I mean, look at this view. It's it's clearing up. Things are getting nice. Things things are uh, things are starting to melt. Finally, so we we tend to stay away from this area in the snow. Uh, if you remember a couple years back, uh, in my one of my Hummer videos, this is where we came, and it was gnarly up here. We've come a couple times, but we just tend to stay away. So yeah, now we're at the mercy of uh, 
the uh, frame shop repairing the uh, the frame and dealing with uh, the Goodyear tires and what it's kind of been thrown around and I don't know if it's something I should take into account but just how bad these tires are they are so bad so I'll give you an example I was driving it down the road and I was doing 70 and man, it almost chatters your teeth it's that bad and I'm wondering if uh, maybe that had something to do with the frame damage you know like uh, stress cracks from it shaking which I wouldn't doubt it so that's getting repaired Goodyear's uh, they're gonna make good on the tires I, as far as I've been told the only downside is we don't know when we can get them they're on severe back order right now so yeah man we're we're just waiting man I just want to get out everything's ready like I thought I had it dialed in you know and then when the fuel pump went that's kind of when I opened the can of worms by uh, discovering everything that was wrong with the frame and to be honest, it's kind of just been a nightmare. So kind of nice having this little car to rip around in. I mean, like I said, the airbag light's on, but I'm going to deal with that. I'm going to go deal with that right now. Um, hopefully it's not too crazy expensive, but I do have the equipment to at least tell me what it is. So I'm going to go do that, and uh, we'll touch base with you guys as soon as we know what's going on with the truck. So peace out. <laughs> That's not peace out. What the? So until next time, guys, stay safe, stay happy, stay warm. We'll see you on the next one.